All right, let's uh, get one thing out of the way here. I am the Wish.com Clark Kent. Um, yeah. If you asked uh, ChatGPT what it would look like if uh, Clark Kent was a millennial and the manager of an H and M. Yeah. My name is Aaron Rosen. It's a really Jewish name. Uh, I am really Jewish. Unfortunately, because of that, uh, people expect me to be an expert on the whole Israel-Palestine thing. And, like, I don't want to learn information about that anymore. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't. Like, if I'm going to hear that kind of stuff, I need to hear that information from someone who's just totally unhinged and divorced from reality. Like Donald Trump. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great to hear from him? He'd be like, the other day I spoke with Benjamin Netanyahu. <laughs> Netanyahu, what a name, Netanyahu. <laughs> Remember when we went on the net on Yahoo? And that's how we searched for things. We did, we did. <laughs> and then we did Ask Jeeves. We asked Jeeves everything and he disappeared. Where did Jeeves go? That's what I want to ask him. But now we do everything with Google. It's all Google. We have Google Docs and Google Sheets and Google Drive. And I love driving. I love the cars, but the new ones, they get so hot, I feel like Prometheus. And that was a scary movie, I'll tell you. That was so scary. But not as scary as aliens. That was really scary. But the scariest aliens are illegal aliens, which is why we need to build the wall. Thank you. I don't know, if he does become president, like, it would be fun to hear some of his foreign policies, right? That would be great, you know? He'd be like, well, excuse me, nobody loves the Muslims more than I do. I, I excuse, folks, I love the Muslims. I love them. They're so tremendous. They're so tremendous. And I love the hijabs. I love the hijabs. I love hijabs, she jobs, hand jobs, blow jobs, Steve jobs. I love the jobs. I knew that Biden was in trouble when I saw those debates. That didn't look good at all. I was a little worried, you know? Because he was like, Joe Biden has the worst brain we've ever seen. That thing is so sad, it's so sad. And poor Biden was just like, eh, Donald Trump over here, eh, eh, this guy, he's trying to say I don't have the mental acuity. Eh, well, <laughs> well, 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 let me tell you something. This guy, he, he doesn't even know the first thing about that. <laughs> And they were like, Mr. Trump, do you want to respond to that? And he was like, I don't know what he said. <laughs> and I don't think he knows what he said either. <laughs> I'm glad Kamala's running, I really am, because like Joe Biden, it scared me, it scared me. I saw the ad campaigns, it did not give me any hope, which was the whole premise that he was running on. He was like, look folks, I, I need you to chip in for the campaign. <laughs> We've done so many terrific things, like the, uh, uh... Anyway, we can really use the money. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, I'm a high school English teacher. Um, thank you. <laughs> All right, that's cool. We don't like education in Burbank. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it's, it's exhausting. Like, uh, I've been doing it for a while. I complain about the job, but, uh, you know, I have to say I'm very fortunate. Like, in the 10 years that I've been teaching, I have very well-behaved students. 10 years that I've been teaching, we've only had two fights at my school. Can you believe that? Two fights in 10 years. Yeah, and both of them I won. <laughs> I think the pandemic really affected my students, you know? Their, their writing, it kind of took a nosedive a little bit. I'm trying to help them, I really am. But they go crazy with the punctuation, the commas, the periods, and all that stuff. I try reading their essays, but it just sounds like a Christopher Walken monologue. I'm reading, it's like the Salem witch trials were terrible. Travesty. Many died, mostly innocent. Wow. The way they talk is very different too, you know? They, they, especially bullies. That's the one thing I really noticed. And I'm actually grateful for how the bullies talk nowadays versus how they did when I was a kid. You know, cause like looking back on it, if a bully was gonna threaten to beat me up, they'd say, I'm gonna pound you. Or you're gonna get creamed. <laughs> or I'm gonna snack on that ass. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I actually, uh, I work with special needs kids on the weekends. I play sports with them and I beat them all the time. It's great. Um, <laughs> No, I do Special Olympics, and I love working with kids who are on the spectrum because those kids have zero filter. Those kids say whatever is on their mind. And I worked with this one kid who would always talk about the show Pokemon all the time. 
And I wanted to make a connection with him. So I talked about the show Dragon Ball Z. And one day, this kid comes right up to me, goes, Coach Heron, you talk about Dragon Ball Z a lot. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, but you always talk about Pokemon. And he goes, yeah, but I'm autistic. What's your excuse? <laughs> Guys, that's my time. Keep it going for your host.